Hey everybody, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to build on what we learned in the last video. We're going to add a little bit more customization and we're going to also look at adding player choice to our game. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is that when we were looking at our demonstration game, that both these characters' names came up the same color, both that orange color that we defined in our initial setup of the game. And so if we want to be able to tell the player that someone different is saying the the, uh, the next line of text without them having to read the nameplate every time, we could additionally add a color variable to these characters. So what I'm going to do is after where it says Eileen, I'm going to type in comma and I'm going to type in color equals and then I'm going to add a uh, random hex value. So let's say I want her to be more red. So I'd say red and I'm going to say blue. Uh, green can be uh, zero, zero. And I'm going to add a bit of a tiny little bit of blue in there. And we're going to save that. And now when we run it, da -da 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 -da, assuming that I haven't typed that in incorrectly, you can now see that she's a nice pink color while Dave has remained the orange. So there we go. You can type that in and you can do this for every single character that you can define. So let's just copy and paste that. And we'll give Dave a slightly different color. We'll make him more blue. So we'll say we don't want any red in it. We'll give it maybe a little bit of green and then all blue. And then that should be a kind of a, a yellowy color color, if I remember correctly, if my primary colors are straight in my head. Okay, so what we need to do now is we want to add some player choice to this game. So, you know, it's all very well and good displaying text, but we want our players to be able to interact with the game in a way that makes them feel like they're more part of the story. So I'm going to get rid of where it says Dave. Dave says this won't work. And I'll get rid of all of this. So we're going to start off with Eileen saying, Hi Dave, how was your day? Question mark. And now we're going to give Dave options on how to respond. So we're going to type in menu, colon. Uh, I'm going to say, okay, my day was great. Thank you, Eileen. And then we have to put a colon at the end of that line. And then we press return and it will automatically tab us onto the next line. Remember that tabbing is very important when it comes to coding in Python. So after menu, we get an automatic tab. And then after the menu choice, we get an automatic tab. Now I'm going to type in pass for now because I don't want it to do anything just yet. I want to get all my menu options laid out first. So I'm going to bring it back one and I'm going to say my day was not too good. So we've got too many options there. There's no real uh, need to elongate them anymore for the sake of this demonstration. We're going to just leave that as it is for now. So what we would do now is in this tab section here where we've typed pass, we would type in everything that's happened after uh, after you say my day was great. Thank you, Eileen. But let's say that this these two choices create two completely different branches of the story. So, if, for example, um, if Eileen wants to throw a hissy fit when you say you didn't have a good day and run away and never speak to you again and you have to do the entire story without her, then you'd have to obviously um, find some way of reducing that because you don't want lines and lines and lines and lines and lines of code all happening in this tiny little space here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new block of code. So we've got a label start. 
after this we're going to type in label good day colon and then we're going to type in return before we do anything else otherwise we will forget to do it i say we what i mean is i will forget to do it and then we will leave that block open so now we're going to do one for bad day as well we're going to type in label bad day colon return so now we've got these two blocks of code that we can type in everything that would happen in here so all we need to do is either jump to this label or call it the difference being is that what will happen is if we jump to this code it will execute the code then it will hit this return and then it will end the game what will happen if we call this code is it will I'll demonstrate actually is the best way to do it so we're typing call good day call bad day so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in a line of text here that says this code is the end of the start block like so so let's just say Eileen says I am glad you had a good day in this one and in this one she will say I am sad that you did not have a good day in this one like that okay so I'm going to save and I'm going to run so remember at the moment we're calling those two so hi Dave how was your day my day was great my day was not too good I'm glad you had a good day this code is the end of the start block now remember this happens this code is the end of the start block now what's going to change if I change this to jump Gonna save that there. Gonna run the code again. Start. Hi Dave, how was your day? My day was great, thank you, Eileen. I'm glad you had a good day. End of code. So, what happened there? I'm now going to explain. This is important. You need to know the difference between a jump call, a jump, and a call. When we jump, what we're doing is we're saying go straight to this line and don't do anything else that's below me think of this as saying like line 40 for example right line 40 is the start of this code so we're saying go to line 40 and ignore everything else that's between me and line 40. when we call what we're saying is go to label good day execute whatever code is within that code block and then when you hit a return return back to this line and then carry on executing whatever is below me and that's how jump and call works now you can have nested you can have call good day then you could call another one from inside here and you could call another one from inside here and then it will eventually return back to this line eventually and you can even have jumps that go jumping so for example uh, if I went to good day B and then we went to part two of the good day block so if we have our code load out like this We can say we can add another menu option here that says my day was great but go to part two and then we can say 
call good day b like so now when we run the code what do you think is going to happen going to launch the project start hi dave how was your day my day was great but go to part two part two of the good day block so now if we go and start again and we go to this one which is the top one you can see i am glad you had a good day part two of the good day block so what's happening is that until we get to return until we get to a line that says return after calling good day it will keep going it's not going to see this and go oh uh, uh that's the end of this code block i need to go uh, back to there it will wait it will not go back until it sees a return what this means is that we can have certain events happening in this code block and then certain other events happening in this code block so if we had a whole load of events that we definitely want to happen in good day but we only want half of them to happen in good day b we just put the ones that we want to happen in this loop in this in this block we're going to type this is the first bit and we use hashtag to uh, add comments second bit so what we're saying is that if you chose this option in the menu yeah you had a good day but you don't want to see this line of text you just want to see this line of text whereas if you had a really good day as in you chose the first option you want to see this line of text but then you want to carry on and you want to see this line of text as well and that's how that works so now we've talked about jump and call and done some very very basic menu functions in the next video we'll talk about yet more exciting stuff thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time